Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate JJ. Uh, I'm still working on this uh, reverse engineering this uh, HP Pavilion power supply. Um, and I'm, I'm talking to Rick on the EEV blog forum. Um, I noticed when I was doing this testing just before, uh, I can actually I can show you quickly. Um, when I uh, th these are both sitting at zero volts at the moment, um, and when I introduce power, um, the left one jumps briefly up, and then goes to open circuit, and this then just settles in at 15 volts. But the thing is, when I unplug power here, <coughs> a voltage comes up on the left hand side. So when I take the voltage away, you see this is still sitting 15.4. When it when it drops down a little bit as it runs out of power, it's discharging now because it's not. You see the power on the left hand side goes on when this power goes down. Now I'm not an expert, but it seems to me like maybe if there's a resistance here, then this will will flow. I don't know. So I, I thought it would be okay to introduce um, uh, a, a resistor. I've got a bag here of one mega ohm potentiometers. So I was thinking what I'd do is I'd plug one of these potentiometers uh, across the, the, the white black pair on the um, breadboard and, and have it up at you know very high resistance and then just bring that resistance in um, and see what happens to the power across the red black pair when there's a resistance across the white black pair. So I'm going to crack open this bag of potentiometers. Now I wonder what the best way is to do this. <coughs> Well, one thing I'll do is I'll get myself another one of my uh, cheapo multimeters and I'll So I've got some jumper pins, that's good. And the other thing that I'm going to need is some alligator clips. So let's just hook in some alligator clips here. And we'll put this guy onto um, resistance at uh, 2k so it should go to zero yep so that's all working now if we put him in the middle and we put him on the right oh, trying not to short anything out let's try those two I haven't used a potentiometer for like I don't know, like 30 years. Who uses potentiometer? Alright. Alright, so that looks like it's one meg from there to there. So, here, there we go. Okay. So, we've got it set at maximum. Alright. And it looks like if we put this guy here and this guy here, then it's counterclockwise to turn it down, clockwise to turn it up, which is what we want. So we, we're going to have our uh, potentiometer with the middle pin and the left pin to control our resistance. And I'm going to want to plug it in to my breadboard. So 
I'm gonna want some sort of a jumper pin setup. That looks like it'd be pretty good. I might be able to do better than that. What have we got here? Okay, we've got a red and a black. Although it's a resistor, there's no need. Okay, look at that. We've got a red and a black. Of course, the resistor is not polarized, but uh, it's not going to hurt us to use different colored wires. So let's uh, let's set this up. Let's move my uh, soldering iron so that it comes out of sleep mode. And uh, I'm not sure what the best way to go about soldering this together is, but. Uh, <sighs> Let's just take some insulation off these jumpers and then we're going to want to put that guy there. I think what I need is just a little bit of blue tack. Blue tack is my favorite adhesive after gravity. Gravity first, of course. I'll just put him there. And I've got some solder here somewhere, I'm quite sure. What have I done with my solder? I was expecting to see it. What have I done with my solder? There it is. There we go, come here. Alright. I'm going to tack this guy on. There we go. I don't know. That's probably okay. I have to say, I, <laughs> I haven't done much soldering. I'm just getting back into my electronics, so I, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't think I, I should be uh, telling anyone about appropriate technique. <laughs> anyway, I seem to be getting there. See if I can get away with this one as well. Nearly there. <clears throat> I might just reflow that that red one. I reckon I can do a little bit better there. Uh, it ain't broke. Don't fix it, huh? What do you reckon? Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if I could get some. Uh, shrink wrap over those guys. I probably should have put some shrink wrap on before I did the soldering. But in this case, I don't think it's going to be the end of the world. I might be able to get something that goes over. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what I've got in the box. I've got these guys. So red and black. I think I'm going to regret this. Yeah. Yeah, not going to do that. They're way too big. Way too big. But I do have smaller ones. But if I have the smaller ones, um, I'm going to need 
to uh, I think this is too small too small let's have a look here that will that will go in no it won't go in it's too small all right so that's no good I do actually have more uh, options uh, <clears throat> got a whole box I wonder if I could show you I'll uh, just jump over there and uh, I've got a bunch more. This is three millimeters. There we go. This is two millimeters. So we'll need just a little bit of that. Just jump back over to the jump over to the main camera setup. So we just need I wonder if this will go over no. Nah. Alright. If I had a thought about what I was doing in advance. I would have done a better job. Anyway, let's uh, let's cut off a little bit of black shrink wrap. And a little bit of red shrink wrap. All right. And Take let's take our jumpers off. There we go. All right. Now we'll put our shrink wrap on. And that shrink wrap on and shrink wrap on. Now I had black in the middle, why not? And then red on the side. I'll uh, have a go at that blue tack again. Uh, let's do black. What do I want to do? I'll do red first. Okay. And I don't know if I'm going to need much more solder. Probably not. Anyway. Okay, and now we'll just do black. And a little bit more solar, why not? All right. Well, I wouldn't claim to be a professional. But I think that's probably okay. Let's just test him briefly with the uh, <clears throat> the alligator clips. Alligator clip, 
and an alligator clip and we've gone up to about one mega ohm and we should be able to turn it down there we go all the way down to zero and then all the way up to a bit over one meg so that seems to be working which is good probably don't need those anymore anyway they can go down there now let's just put the uh, the shrink wrap on we don't need our blue tack anymore and uh, here's the old heat gun so let's just uh, let's put the shrink wrap on Oh, it's all right to me. All right. So we've got a potentiometer now. <clears throat> now, if I just, uh, I might even just check um, I might just put well we don't need these for that alright well I might put this into Two hundred milliamps. All right, so We want to put the ammeter in series with the white black pair and also in series with the potentiometer. And we'll have the potentiometer starting up at, uh, at one meg. And uh, can you see that there? Yeah, it's still there in the corner. That's good. That'll do. A little, a little loose wire. I worry about having loose wires. You don't want to short something out. Anyway, all right now. We'll put that on black alright alright now we're going to power this guy up and we'll just see what happens so we've got our potentiometer all the way up okay Um, and connected in series and up we go alright there's <coughs> less voltage now that's interesting um, anyway let's take it down right, the resistance down okay the voltage across 
the white black pair is changing hardly any current I'm not I don't understand why is there no current I wonder if it's just okay it's just a very very small current okay well that's kind of what I expected if I change the resistance the current should go up and it does it's just a very small current. I don't know if you is it is it okay to measure resistance <clears throat> when you've got a device in a circuit? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I wonder. I'm gonna give it a go because why the hell not? I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is a valid thing to do or not, but uh, let's give it a go. So I, I want to um, put this on at uh, 200 ohms, and we've got common and Yeah. All right, so we've got that guy measuring resistance. Can you see that? Yes, you can. All right, it's set it to two mag, and then we've got this guy over here. Plug him in. Now I'm not really sure what to expect when I do this. Now, let's see. Oh, I missed it. I put it in the wrong slot. All right. There we go. Okay, well, the resistance says open circuit. Interesting, but these values have changed. Okay, well, that doesn't seem to be working. So I guess you probably can't do that. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, we'll take these out. Take these out. And if I just uh, just short them, they should go to zero. Yeah, that's zero. All right. So it seems like if you try to measure uh, a resistance, that's got a voltage across it, <clears throat> you don't get a reading. Maybe I should have known that. I don't know. Maybe I'm not even right about that. Who knows? If you know, feel free to let me know. I'm still just figuring all this stuff out. Anyway, as I increase the resistance the voltage drops. <sighs> Interesting. Oh, sorry, that I said the wrong thing. I misspoke. It's when I decrease the resistance, the voltage drops. Increase the resistance. And you can see the current also changes. There we go. But my theory was that uh, our resistance across the um, black-white pair 
might enable this, but it's not a simple resistance circuit. It's probably it's probably some sort of a um, digital signal. Uh, so we can we can check that next. That's the next thing. It's, so uh, we check what happens with introducing a resistance and the resistance. And I, because I had a simple theory that maybe um, you know if you put a resistance across the 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 um, the, the white black pair that the, the red black pair might go on, but it's not simple like that. It's probably not an analog system. It's probably a digital system. So we need to um, to get that digital clock. So that's what we'll do next time. But for now, I'm just going to leave this and, uh, and, and I guess the next step is maybe uh, having a look on the internet to see if I can find the protocol as my mate Rick suggested. Anyway, that's it for now. See you next time.